A fierce storm tears across the southern tier, producing damaging straight-line winds and reports of tornadoes. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Suzanne Goldklang. We have unconfirmed reports of a tornado at the mall in Elmira and closer to home. There are reports of trees down in Owego and some heavy damage in Vestal Center. We have team coverage coming up. There's about 4,000 customers without power in Broome and Tioga County and 12,000 in Chemung. We're going to start out with meteorologist Kate Thornton, who is on the scene in Vestal. Hi, Suzanne. Well, that was about 4.30 this afternoon when the supercell made its way from western New York into our area, bringing with it very heavy rain, high winds, and also a tornado warning. Now, there hasn't been any confirmation of the tornado touchdown in Broome County. However, there were reports west of us in Rigo and Elmira. Still yet to be confirmed with the word reports of it. Now, with it, we did see very heavy rain, so flash flooding was definitely a concern today. You can see on Elm front of Starbucks on the Vessel Parkway, you can see very heavy rain pass through here, and the parkway heading towards downtown is blocked off right now. So it is being redirected through the Starbucks Plaza and in front of GNC. Now, the water is flowing into the storm sewer. It'll probably be some time until this is completely cleared out. Now, thanks to Zam, we're going to head back to Nick. Okay, come on in and dry off a little bit. Thanks for that report. All right, this is what we know so far. I'm telling you, it was a fast-moving storm, and a lot of things changed real quick. Tornado warning for all counties in New York State. It has been lifted. However, there is a tornado watch still in effect in southern Delaware County, that area there, and tornado warnings for northeastern Pennsylvania down there in Wayne County, lack of Wayne County. That's pretty much out of our area. But if you can hear my voice, take cover, everyone, in case that goes through. Here's where we stand. Yeah, like I said, it was a fast mover as it moved through. Now, it did. Uh, there were some reports in Owego, Elmira, of a tornado touching down. However, nothing confirmed. That will take a couple days for that. But the governor of New York State did come on the air and say there was some severe damage in Elmira, North, or Elmira, New York. It looks pretty much like it's out of our jurisdiction. However, there's still some thunder uh, cells in Susquehanna County. Uh, deposit that thunderstorm watch should be lifted within the next hour or so. This whole thing was born in the Midwest. I'm telling you, actually a little thunderstorm went through last night gave us some significant rain but not too much thunder and lightning but boy this one did here and we'll try and give you some updates as soon as possible all right Suzanne thank you Mick quite a busy afternoon our crew was out along the Vestal Parkway and noticed that power was out in several locations there was flooding in spots along the Vestal Parkway including the entrances to Binghamton University and in other locations as well we saw a car partially submerged right around the corner from our station on the Vestal Parkway as you can see quite a mess there our Tom Allen is standing by live on the phone in Vestal Center where there are reports of some serious damage we're not sure yet if it's from straight line winds or possibly an unconfirmed tornado. Tom's going to tell us what he's seeing there. Hey, Tom. Well, that's right, Suzanne. As I am, like I said, here in the Vessel Center, where it's still raining pretty heavily, and there's plenty of lightning strikes still taking place. Uh, here on Route 26, there's plenty of trees that are down. In fact, the two were lying on wires, which looks like it could be a dangerous situation. And on my, here, on my way here up to the hospital center on Route 17, uh, there were several of the DOT signs that were uh, all turned over. Those are the signs that are held up by sandbags. Those were all, I would say, at least uh, a dozen of them were overturned by the wind. And um, driving around in the neighborhood to the hospital center, it looks like it appears that the, um, the power is still on. Everybody was watching TV. And uh, all the lights were on, so uh, I did stop by the Vestal Fire Department, and firefighters told me that uh, the uh, home that was hit by a tree. So I'm on my way, on my way there now as we speak, and uh, hopefully everybody's okay at that residence. But uh, once again, the uh, situation is that the trees that are down, the ones that uh, appear to be dangerous, are lying on power lines, and. Uh, Throughout the neighborhood, there are several trees that are lying, uh, you know, broken off of their stumps. So um, that is basically the situation here in Vestal Center. And uh, reporting live, I'm Tom Allen. I'll back to you in the studio. Thanks, 
Tom, a dispatcher told me last night they got packets, and when they get packets, they know it's serious. And that severe weather has officials scrambling after spending the day preparing for the storms. The Department of Transportation and State Police kept a close eye on conditions at the DOT Operations Center in the town of Dickinson this afternoon. The advice from state police is to have a weather radio, check travel plans, and stay home if possible. To be prepared for extended power outages, police will work with the DOT to keep the roads as safe as possible. We have cars out on the road all the time, so we are able to keep DOT apprised of road conditions and blocked roads. Generally, people will call us first, and we can relay that to the Department of Transportation. We make sure that, uh, uh, that drainage intakes are uh, clean and able to, uh, to flow. Uh, we take care of that even before the storm uh, occurs. We know that uh, if, if there is an area that, that needs attention, uh, we'll take care of that. State police also urge people to stay off of emergency phone lines if they just have a routine request. The key to riding out a severe storm is preparation. The MS coordinator for Broome County spoke with us today and stressed how fast these storms can move in. We saw that. He says that people shouldn't wait for warnings to stock up on supplies. The emergency services staff prepared by calling in more employees to deal with the trees they thought would probably fall down. Well, people need to take this situation very seriously. There is potential for some exceptionally violent weather to materialize in our area. Uh, keeping an eye on the situation, they could be overtaken by a violent storm very quickly here. Emergency supplies include extra food, water, flashlights, batteries, and officials also say it's important to stay informed. A good website to check out is going to be listed right there on your screen. New York alert. The Red Cross also says the best way to prepare for severe weather is to have a plan. Among the things you should know, where family members are and how to get a hold of them. And you need to know where essentials like water, food and medicine are in case you need to evacuate quickly. And of course, in the event of a tornado, stay away from windows and seek shelter in a basement or an inside room. I think it's being prepared. Know where your family is know what your plan is, what are you going to do, where am I going to go, if it's a tornado warning, no, okay, we've got to get everybody together, we need to know where everyone is, let's get to the basement, let's get to the innermost room. The Red Cross wants to remind people to use battery-powered lighting in the event of a power outage instead of candles because those can be a fire hazard.